To get started with Excel Cubed, open Excel and navigate to the Excel Cubed ribbon. Here you will find all Excel Cubed functionality. First, you will need to make a connection to your data. So select the connection option from the ribbon. Here you will see any recent connections if you have any, or you can make a new connection. A number of connection types are available. For example, if I want to connect to analysis services, I would select that connection type, enter my server name and click connect. For now, I'm going to connect to the sample database. This then shows the available databases and cubes. In this sample, there are two datasets, consolidation and sales. We'll use the sales one in this case, and then select the internet sales cube. Once you've made your selection, click OK to add the connection. Any number of connections can be added to a workbook, but we'll stick to just this one for now. We are now ready to start exploring our data. First, we will insert a grid using the ribbon menu. This opens the grid designer, with a list of the available dimensions and hierarchies on the left. These can then be dragged to any position in the grid. For example, I will place measures and product categories on filters, calendar date on columns, and sales territory on rows. If I do not make any member selections within the hierarchy, the default member will be used. However, I can pick exactly which members I want to see by selecting the hierarchy, then using the member selector on the right. I can expand the tree view to navigate the hierarchy and select any number of members by dragging them over to the right. At this point, we have finished designing the grid, so you can click OK. This will insert the grid at the position of the active cell. This gives us a very simple report, which we can now use to navigate through the data and start gaining business insights. If needed, we can always enter back into the grid designer, either by using the right-click execute menu or double-clicking anywhere on the data area in the grid.